You probably already saw our video on boondocking at the Grand Tetons, but there's another spot that has an even better view, and I'm going to fill you in about it. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Before I tell you about the other boondocking spot, I want to tell you about this first. In the boondocking at the Grand Teton video, if you watched to the end, you saw information about the National Military Vehicle Museum located in Dubois, Wyoming. It was amazing. But I didn't tell you about another stop we enjoyed only nine miles away from that, and that was the National Bighorn Sheep Center. You can watch a couple videos about them and tour their exhibit for $5. We saw the um, rams hitting horns and we were able to experience that. We learned a bit about the Rocky Mountain Bighorn, the Desert Bighorn, the Doll Sheep, and the Stone Sheep. Our favorite was the Rocky Mountain Bighorn, which is the largest wild sheep inhabiting North America. A large ram, a male sheep, may weigh over 300 pounds and stand over 42 inches tall at the shoulder. The Bighorn Sheep throughout North America, including the local Whiskey Mountain herd, struggle with habitat difficulties, diseases, and other challenges. The National Bighorn Sheep Center works with partners to educate the public about these and other threats to bighorns. We also saw a stuffed mama bear and her cubs, which had to be put down because people started feeding it food and they started to become unafraid of humans and it became dangerous. Now on to other areas to boondock at the Grand Tetons. We were boondocking where the blue marker is and the Moran North entrance to the Grand Teton Park is the red marker. It's only about six miles away and you can see the Grand Tetons right there. But about three miles south of where we were was another spot to boondock. We were here and you travel back out to the main road and hang a left and then take another left. Then you could see a couple of spots there. There it was on the lower end where you could boondock, but if you kept going up further up the hill, then you had a better view, but it was a narrow road and you might have to have somebody go out there in front of you to make sure nothing was coming out, but you can see that larger area up there. You have arrived. So this is the other section that supposedly has an awesome view at the very top, but it's tricky getting up there with a big rig, so we're coming to check it out. A little washboarding, ready? Mm -hmm. I think it's worse than our road. Oh, way worse than our road. And it's a ways back too. It's probably a mile and a half or two. I think. Could be wrong. I don't think it's that far back. No, maybe not. Actually, the first area is a little further up on the left, Dave. So you could go right there, there's and there's back. some back in there. But then if you, this is the road that takes you to the area that's supposed to be really pretty and there's a fork and you take the fork to the left. Gonna have some good tires. <laughs> Zippy does. I was that's thinking I'm worried about. Now you probably got another close to a mile. No. We're going to be coming up here, and you're going to go to the left. 
I can see why they. Good God. I can see why they say have somebody go up and make sure there's no traffic coming out. If you're bringing your RV up here. Yeah. Cause it's a rough road getting up here in a narrow. Which way? Just left. Left. Yeah, I'd say so. We're almost there. Got one more curve to go around. Whoa, this road is bad. Whoa. Oh, well, you can turn around if you want. It's got a little ways to go yet. And there'll be a, like a driveway on the left. Right here? Yep. Somebody's in. Um, keep going. Someone's trying to get up there and they can't, I guess. So we're going to have to turn around somewhere unless there's an out up here. Uh, maybe get in right here. Okay. There is the view. Oh my god. They do have one awesome view. It is. It's full up here. I'm glad we didn't come up here. I am too. This is crazy. I don't know. You want to turn around and go back out the way you came in? What about you come from over there? <laughs> it's full up here! Yeah. Forget it. I'm glad we're where we are. Yeah. So what I've heard about that area up there is all the people are real friendly. They get together and they talk and they have bonfires and all that kind of stuff. But boy, I tell you what, it's tough on your vehicle to get up there. Yeah, it'd be um, a rough road to get up here. Figure on that. Our rig, each tire for the fifth wheel is five hundred plus dollars a piece, and then each one for the for Leroy is eight hundred plus dollars a piece. And Zippy's, uh, he's going to be needing new tires yeah. after this trip too. So be gentle with him on this mountain. It's not, it's not worth trying to come up here and cut a tire. I'm glad um, on Facebook they mentioned the location that we're in. Especially for big rigs. Yeah. Look at that, they got a bolt toilet over here. Huh. Didn't know that part. I didn't either. Huh. Five days maximum stay. Yeah, this would be alright. Yeah. This front part. Ooh, ooh, the tenders back here. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in a tent, not with bears. Chipmunks. They're all over. Or they're just mice or something there. Okay. So. That right here, right Oh, that up here, right up here. Yeah, right across the street. Or right here. On the right. Oh, yeah. Just back in right here. And you got a good view. Yeah. Really nice view. view. Getting through the rut right there might be a pain. Yeah. Go low and slow. Boy. Get through this rut. I'd do that. They have slow horses crossing here. 
Yeah, that'd be okay. This part of the road's not that bad. Yeah. Hope this helps you find a place to boondock by the Grand Tetons, and I'll put the three GPS coordinates in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.